In the meantime, there's a cool tool called Screen. And Screen is basically going to allow you to create uh, emulation of TTY screens uh, within an SSH terminal session. If you're on Linux, you've probably uh, at some point hit Control Alt F1, Control Alt F2 to toggle between the different screens that your your Linux operating system gives you, and then Control Alt F7 is usually your your desktop environment to return. Uh, when you're remoted into a server or a computer, you don't necessarily have that option. You don't have the ability to switch around on the TTYs. But in addition, one of the worst things that can happen is you're doing an upgrade, say a disk upgrade, or you're doing some kind of a task that takes a lot of time and is potentially dangerous to lose your connection to, and suddenly your internet drops out for a couple of moments, your session freezes up, and then you're locked out of your system. The problem there is that then, okay, well, what do you do? You can't, you can reconnect by SSH, but you can't see the session as it was. So you've lost access to what it was that you were doing. You know that it's running in the background, but you don't know when it's completed. You don't know if it completed successfully, and it's a bit of a mess. So what we're going to learn tonight is this helpful little tool called Screen, and it's going to save us from all those kinds of woes. So in your Linux operating system, we are going to do a few things real quick here. sudo apt-get update, uh, because we're assuming that you've never installed Screen before. This is a Debian-based uh, operating system. If you are on an RPM-based system, uh, you may use a tool called Yum, for example. Uh, whatever your favorite package manager is, you'll be able to follow along with the same similar commands, uh, but uh, you'll need to adapt them for your distribution. sudo apt-get install screen, just like it sounds, and that's going to look in those uh, repositories for the package. And it's not even asking me if I want to. It may ask you if you are sure you want to continue. You can type Y for yes. Now, when I type the word screen, uh, it's just simply going to look like, okay, it's got a, a page of, ins of kind of copyright information. Then when I hit enter, I'm back at terminal. Okay. So then you start to think, okay, well, what on earth did I just do? It just looks like I'm still in my terminal. That's all there is to it, right? So I can go into my folders and look around and it, everything looks just normal. But watch what happens now when I hit Control A and then D. Now it says I'm detached. So what does that mean? So where am I? I can look around and I can do whatever, but now watch what happens when I type screen dash R for reconnect or reattach. You'll see that I'm right back to where I typed ls. So if I was in the process of running these big long commands, if, let's say, um, you're running a backup, I think that's a really good scenario. You'd want to run screen first. So I'm going to run this, and then I'm going to hit Control a d and you'll see that I'm detached. And so now I can go about my day, continue doing other things, and then when I'm ready, I can go screen-r to reattach, and you'll see I'm right back at that apt-get update. And there it goes. I can hit Control a d and I'm back at my regular terminal. So why does that matter? Well, if I were to lose my connection now in this state, because I have that apt-get update going on in a screen session, uh, then I can now reconnect to that server, type screen-r, and I'm right back at that session exactly where it is at that point. So it's running basically in the background without any, any interface. So now I can reconnect to that system, type screen-r, and there we are. I'm still, you know, I'm back at that terminal session. Okay, so I'm going to exit so there are now no screen connect, uh, connections going, no screen um, sessions. So if I type screen, we're just going to basically, I'm giving you a crash course on screen tonight to help you to, to learn how to use it. Um, so we're going to go through a couple of the different commands, Shelly, uh, on how to utilize this tool. Basically what we're doing is uh, considering, you know, cases where you've got uh, applications that are going to be um, mission critical. So you've got something that's happening like a backup where you need to be able to let it run, but you're mm -hmm. pretty sure that you're going to either lose your connection or need to close off your connection while it's still running. So with screen, we're able to do that. So let's, let's play around here a little bit. Screen dash LS. And it says no sockets found. Now you notice that I am currently logged into my system as Robbie. So it's important to note that if I were to go sudo screen, now I'm actually root. 
okay? So if I do LS and then I go Control A D, now I'm detached. But watch what happens when I go Screen dash R. There is no screen to be resumed. Well, why is that? The reason is is because the screen that is currently running on this system is in fact. I'm not sure if I can super user here. Yeah, I could probably go su sudo, or uh, sorry, sudo <laughs> su. There we go. So I'm root now. So as root, if I type screen dash r, now you'll see it reconnects to that session because I was root by using sudo when I created that session. So if you have created a session to run a backup as root and then you disconnect and you are no longer root, then you're going to find that your screen session does not exist. So you need to again become root with sudo or with uh, sudo su and then you can reconnect. There's the session. Okay, so it is user specific, so it's important to note that um, whatever user you ran it as is the user that it is going to be uh, associated with. So you have to return to that user in order to access the screen session. So now we're going to now we have no screens uh, running. I'm going to show you that screen dash r is uh, is gone. Sudo screen dash r. There is no screen to be resumed. So the next command is sudo, uh, not sudo. Pardon me. Screen dash ls. And you're familiar with the ls command. That's what we use when we're listing the file system. Bless you. So screen dash ls similarly is going to list any of the running sessions that are available to us on screen. So screen and then hit enter. Now there's a screen running control a d and I can go screen dash ls and you'll see that there's now a session. So if I had two sessions running, which is possible, now I have two of them, so I can on this one I can go ls ls. You see that I've done it twice, and then disconnect with control a, <coughs> control a d. You okay? <coughs> yep. Okay. <coughs> nope. Let's take a break. We'll edit it out in post. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm good. There we go. All right. Where was I? Well, you... Now we got to start over, shall? <laughs> So now I've got two sessions active. Watch what happens when I go screen dash ls. There you go. So I can see that there are now two sessions. So now when I go screen dash r, well, it says, what do you want to do? There's two of them. So we go screen dash r, and you see that number before the pts dash zero dot demo? Uh, that's the number that I want to use. So screen dash r space 14978, there's the terminal session where I had two LSs. Now if I disconnect again and I go screen dash LS, there is there are two, so I can go screen dash R and let's connect to the other one. One four nine zero one. And you'll see that that is not the one with LS. So I can exit that. Now when I type screen dash LS, there's only one. Screen dash R is going to take me into one four nine seven eight because I don't have to specify that because it's the only one that exists. And now I can exit again with control A D. So I press Control A, let go, then press the letter D on my keyboard. That's going to take me there. So now, when I run screen dash ls, you'll see that I have one session. Here's the problem there. Shelly, if I had 15 sessions open, how am I going to know which one is which? It's a lot of cycling through numbers. It's a lot of trying to remember which one is which and mm -hmm. maybe jotting it down. It's a little bit of a pain not really ideal. So instead what we can do is we can actually specify a name to associate with that session number. It's oh. actually surprisingly easy and uh, in order to do that now when I create a session and this is probably the way you would want to do it is screen dash s and let's call this one backup. So now when I create that screen session I can run my backup, 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 right? Control A D while that runs and when I want to reconnect, I can go screen dash ls, and I see that there is one called backup. Mm. So that name just associates it so for my reference, because when I reconnect, I can go screen dash r15826, enter, and I'm right back at backup, backup, backup. <laughs> so it's as simple as that. So it's a lot to take in, I think, uh, but and I uh, crash course through it so that you would have a, a good reference to be able to refer back to on how to use screen fantastic tool. It's going to save your fanny if you are um, if you're online and lose that connection when you're working on a server. I've had it happen. It's a horrible thing to have happen. 
and you sit there, you know, H top watching the process, wondering, <laughs> uh, is that backup almost done? Was it successful? Uh, and then you can't go back in to see what was on the screen. So this way you can. 